traction. Now, cervical traction is of unproven benefit for cervical radiculopathy. Intermittent home traction for relieving symptoms was recommended earlier in the D because it was thought to enlarge the neural foraminal space. It was generally recommended to start with low weights, not greater than 20 to 25 pounds. It is contraindicated in patients with significant trauma, myelopathy, and structural anomalies like clip and field syndrome or kyphosis. So cervical traction in line with the body was recommended early in the day. In fact, you know, there were clinics wherein you know the patients were put on the traction. They were kept in the hospital with the traction. The weight was put in, increased gradually because that was thought to alleviate the symptoms via increasing the neural foraminal space. However, it was contraindicated or not uh, said to be of use in the patients if who are having trauma, myelopathy or structural abnormalities. Now, there is one important thing to remember about traction. The recent Cochrane reviews have shown uh, traction to be in fact detrimental rather than having any form of benefit. So in fact, these days, these tractions are not recommended and they are not even followed by any therapist.